Welcome back to a new transfer talk video with the January transfer window now open in the 2016-17 season I'm going to be looking at a few teams in the Premier League It's something I do pretty much every transfer window and basically I'm going to be looking at what players I think should be leaving on loan or permanently and who should sign for said team to improve the squad So in the first episode back in this January transfer window I'm going to be looking into the Arsenal Football Club. Uh, there'll be facts that are coming from uh, news articles online and personal opinions which are my own faults. Uh, sources will be left in description below. Please stick around and leave me some feedback in the comment section below. Tell me what you think or what you would like to see happen to Arsenal in this transfer window. So looking at the current squad, I don't think Arsenal need to change too much. I've said it in a previous video, I think this may be one of their best squads, if not one of their sp uh, strongest squads since 2004. Personally, I think the club is only missing one or two uh, more players to win the Premier League. So let's look at the current squad at Arsenal, starting with the goalkeepers. The first choice keeper is obviously Czech. He has been outstanding for Arsenal this year. He's clearly number one choice keeper and will be one of the first players on the list for every Premier League game. Second choice keeper is a personal favourite of mine. A spinner is an amazing up and cover keeper for Czech and he only cost the club a small transfer fee of around 3 million. As a backup keeper he is fantastic. The third choice keeper is Martina, who again a personal opinion of my own I would probably consider setting him, which would benefit Martinez's career because he would find first team action and he would get regular gameplay which would improve his overall to be honest. So yeah, he's 24 years old, he's not a youth keeper anymore. Uh, there's young players in the youth team looking to be third choice keeper at Arsenal and even if Czech retires at the end of the, the season uh, Arsenal is most likely going to go out and buy a replacement keeper it's not going to happen and honestly I think um, just so you get some more regular gameplay I think it's time for him to move on so looking at the goalkeepers I wouldn't say it's a priority but I would consider finding a new club for Martinez I wouldn't look for a new third choice keeper but in fact look into the youth uh, moving on to the defence I'm going to start with the right backs first choice right back would be Hector Bellerin uh, one of Arsenal's key players this season he's been linked with a move away from the club with the likes of City, Madrid and Barcelona all looking to sign him but Arsenal has managed to get him to sign a new long term contract to the year I think 2022 uh, second choice right back and cover for Bellerin I would say this season would be Cole Jenkinson although Arsenal fans may disagree with me there uh, he would really only play if Bellerin was unfit or if it was a cup game in my eyes third choice is a player who I think Arsenal wants out of the club now he's getting on a little bit and I think he might be on his way out with a loan move back to his home country of France Yes, I'm talking about the Bucci, uh, and before I get any negative comments about him in the feedback below, I actually like the Bucci, and I think he's one of them players where, uh, if it wasn't for the fact he had a few injuries, he would still be fighting Bellerin there at number one right back, but due to the injuries, and I think honestly Bellerin has stepped up a lot in the last 18 months, um, I think it's just time for him to move on. Uh, so yeah, as right backs, I hope Arsenal agrees to send him out on loan. Moving quickly onto the centre backs now, Arsenal have five centre backs on paper. So if you imagine Arsenal with no injuries right now, their main two centre backs, their back two would probably be Koscielny and Mustafi. Two amazing centre backs, and if they can stay fit this season, will be an awesome duo in the back in the league. Mertesacker is still at the club somewhere, the captain of Arsenal Football Club. I don't know if he's got a, uh, a career left at Arsenal Football Club. He hasn't started a game in the Premier League this year, I don't think. And I say this every window, but I think it is time to sell him, send him back to Germany. Or to the MOS even. He isn't a first choice player anymore. I'm not a huge fan of the next defender. I'm not going to mention it either. It's Gabriel and Honestly, as a cover or a cup centre back, I guess you could have a worse player. Uh, the final centre back for Arsenal is Rob Holding, a young English promising centre back who came from Bolton 
He's played a few times this season due to injuries in the squad. Uh, I think, honestly, he needs a few seasons out on loan, maybe at a high championship club, and then maybe another year out in a Premier League team before we see him really show a threat for Arsenal. So, finally, we move on to the left-back at Arsenal. I still rate Kieran Gibbs as their number one left-back for Arsenal, uh, but I think this season, Arsenal has probably favoured more towards uh, Nacho Monreal as their number one. It may be down to the fact that Gibbs has had a few injuries this season. But on the gossip side of things, it, uh, Gibbs has also been linked with a move away to, I think, both Crystal Palace and West Ham. Personally, I wouldn't change anything at left back. I think they're two great left backs. I keep saying this every transfer window. So looking at the defence again, I wouldn't say it's a priority, but I would consider selling or loaning out to Bucci. He won't be getting too much gameplay if he stays at Arsenal with Bellerin on form this season. I would also look at sending Mertesacker Saka out, probably sending him to Germany in this transfer window too. Maybe, if an offer appears, send Rob Holding out on loan. I wouldn't change a thing at left back if I had to this window. I would like to see Arsenal look at maybe getting another centre back in case of further injuries this window. As I've already said, I don't rate Mertesacker or Gabriel, and I think Holding is too young to be thrown in at the deep end. So moving on to the midfielders, I'm going to look at the centre mids. I'm not going to individually put the players into CDMs and CAMs in this video, uh, but I will keep them all as centre mids and wingers. So moving on to the centre mids, Ozil, Ramsey and Granite are my three main centre mids. I wouldn't change a thing there, I think they're three of the best in the Premier League. Arsenal other centre midfielders are Casola, who is a fan favourite and is ideal as a 60th minute sub. Uh, Francis uh, Coquelin and Mohamed El Nani. Uh, they're two players that they have a fair share of gameplay for Arsenal and to me as they are really good great cover players and cut players uh, in centre mid. So looking at the Arsenal centre midfielders I don't think they have too much to worry about. They have plenty of players to fit all the roles needed in the centre but if Arsenal does go out and buy a new centre mid it will be a CDM more than a Cam player in my Moving on to the Arsenal wingers, if Arsenal can keep everyone happy, I don't think he needs to improve the squad in this role either. Sanchez on one side and Theo Walcott on the other are two fantastic players to play in the Prem and European game. As young, experienced duos, the Ox and Iwobi as cover players and to play in the League Cup games, uh, they've got their wingers sorted in my eyes. Unless Sanchez or the Ox leaves in this transfer window, I don't think Arsenal will be buying a new winger in this window. Uh, and the final spot on the pitch are the strikers. Arsenal signed Lucas Perez for 17.1 million in the summer to ease pressure off of Giroud and Welbeck. He's only played a handful of games so far this season. He hasn't really shown the best form yet. Giroud has, uh, has been doing what he does best. I think he scored four goals in 11 games. And I don't think Welbeck has had any Premier League gameplay this season due to injuries. And the only other two strikers for Arsenal are two players I don't rate highly, which are Snowgo and Akpom, who honestly, I wouldn't mind if they left the club at this transfer window. So if the strikers can't find goals before the window closes and Welbeck injuries continue, I would like to see Arsenal try again in this window to find another goal scorer. You can't always rely on Sanchez or Walcott to score goals. So overall, sell Martinez, sell a loan to Bucci, sell Mertesacker, loan out Holding, uh, loan or sell Zanogo or Akpom, uh, and apart from a few players I would like to see leave as mentioned above, I don't really think Arsenal need to strengthen the squad too much, but improve in two or three spots. So look at maybe a new left back considering if Kieran Gibbs does leave. Uh, someone like Ricardo Rodriguez from Wolfsburg would be an awesome sign for Arsenal. He's an improvement on Montreal in my eyes. Uh, if you look at a maybe a new centre back, if Arsenal can get rid of Mertesacker, bringing someone young, I know it won't happen, but um, someone like Nostatic, the former uh, City player, he's improved a lot in the German league this season. He's only about 23 or 24. But then, who would you play as your back to if they do sign someone like him? And as I said about the strikers, why not sign a player who is known for goal scoring? Someone like Dybala would be awesome in the Premier League. I know it won't happen because the price tag is too high. 
But so far, the club has been linked with a few players, including Frank Kessie and Cohen Bramall and Marco Rule from Dortmund. I don't know how true these rumours are. Again, they are only rumours until they are confirmed. But some of them signings would be awesome to improve Arsenal this transfer window.